Well guys, it's official, my wife hates me. This thing is super loud and it's only on low power mode. Still, with low power mode, this thing gets pretty noisy. Even with the tent closed up, it's not gonna make a damn bit of difference, unfortunately. But let's look at uh, what, how everything's going. Over the first 24 hours, actually hasn't been the official first 24 hours yet, but it's coming up on it. So we average around 85 degrees Celsius, 87 degrees, as the high getting around 90 to uh, 94 terahash now most of these pools require what's called a sub account id or sub id uh, so just follow whatever the local guidelines is i did try playing around with uh, f2 pool for a little bit then i settled and checked out ant pool but i settled on pooling for right now i'm probably going to go to f2 pool again or ant pool uh, but pulling just wanted to check out to see how performance is and we are right where we need to be This was just saying 94 terahash a little bit ago. So things are changing um, and We should hit our profits of 0 .00032 um, Once the 24-hour mark hits so we're right on track. I know that doesn't sound like a lot uh, but Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. It is more profitable than GPU mining right now, uh, but very expensive to get into this game because the ASICs are one, loud, two, very power hungry, unless you get the super efficient or liquid cooled ones, uh, and especially when it's on air. But you can see here on the calculator where I, we should be 0 .00035 every 24 hours, which I'm just using this miner as a comparison because again, we're sitting around 3200 watts real quick interruption uh, the server power supplies were on which is why we were showing around 33 3200 watts so without them on and completely powered off we're sitting around where awesome miner says 28 2900 watts 90 91 tera hash so it's a pretty good comparison uh and we're, we're hitting our mark you know i could put this on normal or even high power mode but with the thermal conditions that i'm in here in florida in a grow tent uh it's just not as good so at least I'm still able to mine profitably with uh, this particular ASIC. Actually, after electric, yeah, we're in the negative after electric, but I'm still able to obtain Bitcoin and store it. Uh, and GPU mining is not much better. So mine Bitcoin, the OG, the one that's been around for the longest time, the one that will continue to be around and the government will work with or allow, or mine a GPU coin that is profitable now by a few cents if not negative by a few cents that may not be around in the future to come let me know your thoughts down in the comments below but that's pretty much it just want to give a quick 24-hour update huge shout out and thank you to bt miners once again for allowing us to use this miner stay tuned for updates on my plans with this particular asic uh, as soon as i have updates you will too so just stay tuned follow me on twitter keep an eye on the post and uh, thank you for watching. Please do me a favor on the way out. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out links in the description. I hope to support the channel and what we do here. And I will catch you in the next one. Also, if I do any maintenance on these GPUs, I might bring you along for it. But uh, we're probably going to start up that NVIDIA rig down at the bottom, which is going to be the highest amount or the, the max amount of power I can draw through this 30 amp breaker. So we'll see how it goes. See you around.